this motorhome is the Deathlefts Esprit GT 71502EB. What a name! This thing here is 781 centimeters long, 233 in width, and costs 121,000 euros, which is quite a lot for a motorhome. Anyway, let's go to the back and I'm going to take you through this really quickly. This one here's got a German layout at the back and uh, you've got storage there, storage there and a ladder to get up into bed and storage in the step which is down there and indeed a bit more storage down there as well. Uh, this has a flat floor all the way to the driving position from here with a couple of uh, hatches in the double floor. In here we've got a toilet with a nice molded sink, or it seems to be molded, and uh, mirrors down there. And on this side, there's a shower, which is handy for getting yourself clean. Coming through here, we've got a kitchen with ooh, a nice looking large uh, um, cooker. There are three, three with largely well spaced apart. Nice uh, looking shape to this, a bit like automobile does the same sort of thing. And uh, here we have a sink, which is also a very reasonable size. And we've got a bit of storage up there currently occupied by decoration. We've got these huge uh, storage cabinets all the way around, or all the way around. Two of them, in fact, it's not really all the way around, but anyway, you get the point. And here we have a table with an L-shaped uh, uh, seating area table could be a bit bigger. I think even though it's a big table. I think in the in the circumstance could be a bit bigger uh, Up front you see Fiat and it's a uh, automatic gearbox and see how the This integrated van has this bit sideboard which is a bit integrated or look, look more integrated if it were the same color as The black which is up there. That's just my opinion. This is an electrical bed You'll need a key to get it down and I haven't got it uh, and up here, oh, there's the key, this is where the key goes. And up there, you've got the time and you've got how much electricity and how much water you've got in here, as well as having the thing for the heating to turn it on. Right, let's come out. Now, I'm not gonna take you right the way around, but I will show you the garage, which is here. And that's a pretty good garage in a, for any vehicle, in my opinion. And I think you can get 300 kilos of weight in there. I might be wrong in that one, so it's not my fault if you smash it up, putting in too much. Here we, uh, so thanks for watching. That was under three minutes. And if you found that of interesting, then you might want to see the longer video, which I may or may not have done.